Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Draft of Glory. It is Thursday's episode, it's going to be a brand new team of the week. Um, impacts later, you can see we sold a lot of stuff as well, including consumables, uh, stadium, both stadiums actually, and a few others. Uh, we're going to keep relisting everything else we've still got, but we are close to 400,000 coins, like very, very close now. If we discard a few players, we'll be up there, but we are going to hold out and uh, take the money when I think it's at its max. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do hit a subscription button, hit the bell button as well so you never miss an upload, and feel free to leave a like rating on the video, that'd be fantastic. So, draft today. Let's see what it throws out formation-wise. Well... I don't want to go five at the back. And that's one thing I want to stay away from instantly. So I think it's going to be the 4 3 3 standard uh, as our choice there. 3 5 at the back formations. What the hell? And what is that for a captain selection? Di Maria, Jonas, Jekko, Joaquin, and Coutinho. I'd be rude not to take Coutinho from, from that selection of picks. Striker. Ah. There was nowhere. I was hoping for informed Suarez, guys, but I'm gonna go with Bobby Firmino, ex Liverpool front line um, currently, and then we could even continue with the ex Liverpool front line as well. With actually throwing in Iago Aspas would be another one, uh, but I'm gonna throw in Raheem Sterling. I don't think there's any like Riyad Mahrez would be a good choice, but I'm gonna go with Raheem Sterling. Uh, who knows? Could be in team of the week as you guys are watching this video anyway. In the middle, we're on the lookout for a Brazilian. Fulham player is the one we're going to take. And it, I want to get chemistry to Coutinho. Loftus Cheek. Torreira and Capoue. Uh Loftus Cheek would be the, the best bet, I think, if I was to take him. And I want to get, I do want to get full. I don't want a Premier League team. I want enough. So we could take on Dobia. Fred would be a nice one. Obviously, adds a Brazilian links in there, but I want to try and mix it up a bit. Uh, and I'm going to try and mix it up a bit, guys. I'm going to swap them two over. Uh, and then them two over. And see if we can get a French left back. No, we cannot. We get uh, we get Rose and Tunes. We'll take Antunes, um, La Liga, right back. Kyle Walker will be brilliant here. Nathaniel Klein. Um, yeah, we'll go with Nathaniel Klein over over them. Just for the English links. And then we can maybe change something else in the middle. I don't think, apart from Casemiro, David Luiz, that's a nice one. Van Dijk. A lot of decent Premier League players here. And we've got Guerrero on the other side. But I'm going to take that Van Dijk. Um, and swap him over with this one. Hopefully it's a La Liga player. Pavard. Hilton. And Sydney. Um, I'm going for a hybrid, but it's not really working. I'll swap them two over. Takes us to 90 chem. And then, obviously, I think the goalkeeper choice would be... None of them, I don't think. No, it wouldn't be. To Stegham. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Stegham. I don't think I've ever rocked to Stegham. So, at 94 chem. The draft looks pretty meh. Let's see who we get as a next goalkeeper. Looking for a Premier League one now. We get Fabianski, Romero... I don't think I want to rock any of them, guys. I don't want to rock any of them, but let's try and get a better defence now. Oh, Durham, Willems, Tyranny. We'll go with... T oh, actually. I probably could have made a better pick with that one. Wow. As, as Oh, they have. They've screwed me, guys. EA screwed me in the defensive picks. That's not good. Midfield, Boulder Diaw, Emre Chan. Another ex-Liverpool player. Um, I will go with Emery Chan. Um, the midfield doesn't look fantastic, does it? Fernandinho, Mbappe, Pogba, French link. He he would he would work. Pogba or Fernandinho for the Brazilian. No, we'll go with uh, actually. If we go with Fernandinho. I can, uh, no, I'll go with Paul Pogba over him. I do like that Mbappe card, but. I don't think he's got any room to play. So that takes us 97 chem. Um, defense I'm not happy with. Attack I am happy with. It's somewhat different, isn't it? Riyad Mahrez, Immobile, Iago Aspas. Do I go with, oh, do I go with Immobile? Yeah, we'll go with Immobile. 88 rated. And then we move on to free picks. 
I don't really know what to take here. Sadio Mane, Liverpool, very easy choice. Uh, if I was to rock him. Malo, right back. Wouldn't do anything. Might take Sadio Mane though for just an impact sub. Just like uh, Immobile is. Martial. Rafinha. Anthony, you're going to get a running dude, I think. We could even play him over that, like an extra French link, but uh, Coutinho will be fantastic. I might end up doing that, like dropping Loftus-Cheek out and uh, moving Coutinho to the middle. Maybe, maybe. Another Brazilian. And Della Bella at left back. He's a Spain too, though. So he will be uh, garbage for Kem. Uh, we'll go with Alan. Another central midfielder. We've had the silver picks already, so this should be the final final bunch. James Rodriguez, Carvajal. Can't get him in. William. We could throw another Brazilian in there. But I think I'm going to take James Rodriguez. Actually, no. No. Uh, do we need a centre-back? We could do with a centre-back. We could do with a centre back over the rest, I think. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that Thiago Silva. Uh just for the centre back choice uh, to bring on in defence if needed. Draxler. Jonathan Vieira, Piatti. I'll go with uh I'll go with my man Draxler. And then the final pick. I don't really know what the game's gonna throw at me. It's not really throwing the best stuff. Lozano, Chuck Lozano's the best one. Wow. And Fuego as well. Um, yeah. Looks like we're going with Chucky Lozano as our final pick, guys. So, a pretty bog standard draft. We need free chemistry, though, to get it up. We're currently at 84. We should, might go to 85, actually, with a few changes um, here. Yeah, 85 now. And I think I'll even throw in Chucky. Uh, I think I'd... So, the, so the sub white. It's like, that's the team as it looks. We need free chem chemistry somewhere. Um, and it's looking like La Liga, to be fair. So, with that... I just saw another, another choice, but it's not going to work. So, uh, what I'm thinking of doing in-game is swapping them two out for, for their game. Um, and then... I have a Mane... Taking Loftus out and whacking Manny in there. I think that's how I'll do it. I think that's how I'm going to play the team. It looks alright as a starting team. It doesn't look the best like that. Uh, but in game it'll play. It should play alright. I doubt it actually. <laughs> Bates and saying stuff will play alright. Never usually works out. So we're at 97 chemistry on the hunt for free chem from somewhere. I don't know where we're going to get it from. French. We're not going to get a full chem team are we? 98. 98. 98. Who's that to? German. Do I want to take French or do I want to take German? I think we'll go French. Or do I go German? Um... We'll go German. We'll go German on chemistry to the goalkeeper. May come in useful um, if we're having to defend a lot against our opponents. So, 183 rated draft. Low chemistry. Um, never the best. But we're at 36 entries. Hopefully today could be 23 with the win. Who knows? I went different. It ended up looking the same, actually. A lot of La Liga, La Liga Premier League mix. But what can you do when you don't throw icons in the draft, you know? EA, hurry up and do it, please. You're annoying me. Let's get into it. See how we do in the four games. So guys, moving on into the first game, coming against Messi, Inform Suarez, um, Sarabia, who else is in there? Not really that much. Inform Gordon's there, Valencia, Lingard, Milner, Marcelo and Oblak. Some nice players in there, 100 chem he's got, he's got better than me anyway. Um, and that's with me trying to mess around again. Ball into Serling over to Condogbia. Condogbia somehow is able to uh, cause a bit of a mess in the uh, attacking area. But he's not seen as an attacking player anyway. Then Bale with the ball through to Messi. Obviously coming as a sub. Messi carries the ball forward. I make a daft lunge it in with the defender. And Messi's left foot, left, left foot just curls it in past the uh, onrushing goalkeeper. And puts my opponent 1-0 up in the first round of the draft. 
And this game was tough, guys. The way my team was set up, it was really slow and lethargic. We took uh, Firmino. If you guys have played with Bobby Firmino, he isn't a striker. He doesn't play like a striker. He's the same as he is in real life. He, he's set as a striker, but he isn't a striker. You know, He's an attacking midfielder um, slash centre mid. And that was causing me the lack of options when moving up into the attacking uh, side of this team. Um, you can see the ball through to uh, Immobile. That's when I realised I did have to make a sub and that uh, Immobile was the player coming on. But once, once we did have Bobby Firmino in the position, which is the centre mid then pushing forward, we're having uh, a lot of success with it. Uh, Firmino with the time finesse past the goalkeeper, um, makes it 2-1 in the first game, and that was how the game did finish, guys. A very, very dry first game in the foot draft. Not what I wanted, not what you guys want, but it's a win at the end of the day. Moving on to second round against Anatovic Wil Wilson. Um, who else in there? Lucas, Pogba... Oxley, Chamberlain, Mares, Valencia, Godin again, Varane, and uh, Courtois. That's a nice uh, back line he had there. And uh, my opponent was capable as well. He had a lot of decent opportunities. And uh, against the runner player, guys, we get a ball out to Coutinho, who uh, is uh, dink sitting here for a nice header from Raheem Sterling to make it 1 0. Wouldn't expect Raheem Sterling to be getting on the heads, but he does. He, put, he puts us 1 0 up, and I wouldn't even say that, that it wasn't deserved. It definitely wasn't deserved, uh, and then we get absolutely um, ridiculed in the uh, in the attack. Trying to defend, and my opponent was just pushing up all the time. He went to mark the right midfielder there, and uh, I make a bad pass into the middle. And now of each with the ball, he puts it inside to Bale. Bale with the touch and the shot beats the keeper from distance. So this guy knew how to hit his shots. And I usually wouldn't be expecting um, to try and cover them time finesses, but he does get a nice goal there um, to put him in the game again. And in the 56 minute breaks through with Riyad Mahrez, Mahrez with the L1 fake shot, still tracking him, tackles him, but then I make a loose pass out into midfield, which is intercepted by him. Ball into Pogba, Pogba gets dropped. I was like, right, I need to get in there, guys. I need to go for the tackle, thinking he's lining up the time finesse. We take a yellow card with Nathaniel Klein and didn't think anything of it. Like, right, we can get into our into the rest of the game now. Just let him hit this ball over or hit it at the wall. He hits it right into the top corner and puts him 2 1 up in the 58th minute. What a finish that was. Brilliant shot by Paul Pogba and uh, honestly didn't expect him to hit the free kick from there. And in the 83rd minute, my opponent goes forward again. Neymar with the ball this time, gets it through to Arnautovic. Arnautovic through to Pogba, Pogba to Bale, Bale through to Arnautovic. He gets a touch and he gets the uh, goal on the near post, making it 3-1. And looking like he was two, well, two goals clear with five minutes, this would need something huge. Nathaniel Klein with the ball. He gets it into Coutinho, Coutinho over to Immobile and we make it 3-2. One goal back in the 87th minute but as you guys know in the past we have struggled in these positions and uh, then the 89th minute Immobile with the ball waiting for the runners gets it over to Firmino into Pogba, Pogba with the ball going forward he's able to turn get the ball through to Firmino um, but then my opponent intercepts it but makes a loose pass Immobile with the ball through to Pogba, Pogba with the mistimed finesse shot makes it 3-2 and brings us back into the game, sending us to extra time in the 91st minute. That was a fantastic finish from Paul Pogba and uh, one we needed because if we got out in this round, it could have been dangerous. We then get a free kick in the 117th minute, line up the three players and then just decide to shoot it ourselves with Coutinho. He puts it in past the keeper, guys, makes it 4-3 and that was us winning the second round of the draft. But... Because I've struggled in two games, I knew the issues were going to arise and it was going to come. I got lucky to push on through to the semis, but we do make it to the semis against It's Tom. Decent stats for both of us, really. It was a decent game, uh, and obviously that free kick was uh, the important one to make it 4-3. Our semi-final opponent up against Rashford, Aubameyang, Willian, um, Milner, Pereira, Ramsey, Stones, Luis, Mendy, Pereira, and uh, one of the Spanish goalkeepers from Fulham uh, in net. 83 rated team, so quite a low rated team, and uh, we were about to get um, schooled. We were about to get schooled in the midfield and defence. I was struggling to get the ball through. You can see how much I'm pinned back. Ball into Pereira. He drives forward, whips it in, and somehow it sits right onto Salah's foot, who does a nice little karate kick into the back of the net, putting my opponent 1 0 up. Uh, in the 11th minute, a very, very nice finish. Um, and it was a deserved goal because he had pinned me back from the start of the game. And uh, this was the first time he broke out, guys, the 28th minute. Long ball down to Coutinho. Coutinho with the, uh, like, probably getting into the other side. And Firmino hits a horrible shot there, which does go out for a corner. 
from the corner. Van Dyke goes up. That's a timed header. And it was a mistimed header, but still Van Dyke gets it and that does make it 1 1. 50th minute. Ball inside the area. Nearly got a chance there, but the keeper saves it with a fantastic leap back. And from another corner, we whip the ball in. We've got the attacking players, and we do get a flick onto the back post and make it 2 1 in our favour. Set pieces were what were breaking this guy down, and uh, we weren't getting any chances in open play because Dobby are making it 2. There, all we had to do was see out the rest of the game, and we would have been golden. Um, but with me pushing forward for the third goal, uh, it does get intercepted there. Contobio in the area again, and I should have noticed this earlier. Should have stayed back with him. Ball through to Abamyang. Abamyang to Salah. No one's catching him. Van Dijk's getting close, but no one's catching him. Tried to go in the back, but a brilliant finish. Slips it past the keeper and makes it 2 2 in the 64th minute. And then the 88th, still going for that goal to send us into um, the winning ways into the final. Bale picks up the ball. Bale carries it nicely. Gets the ball inside to Abamyang. Abamyang sets himself up for the finesse. And guys, we go out in the semi final of the draft today. It, was a, it wasn't a good draft, but uh, we do make it to the semis. And uh, we do go out against our opponent. But we're still going to open the packs for the new team of the week. Let's hopefully get some good packs which may have team of the week players. So with in. that semi-final exit, guys, it takes us to three wins out of four this week. And we also do get a foot swap player, which I don't know what I'm going to use for. But we'll take him anyway. And um, we just get him for free. But we've sold five things on the trade pal, guys, which is the kit and a few others. Now, we are going to get rid of a few things now uh, just because they're not needed. We keep all the rare players because they may go at some point. Um, obviously not this week. But... We've got stuff like, actually, that I might drop down. Actually, that's not that I'm selling. Why does that one not sell? Maybe it doesn't sell. We'll try it for 200. Discard all that. Get the coins back in. Because after taking a loss, guys, it can be pretty rough. So, we'll get rid of these. Because uh, we're seeing now that what stuff isn't selling. And it's quite often. I've been selling, relisting stuff all the way throughout, guys. It's not been going. So, we're just going to take the coins for it. And uh, just... Get us back up to uh, an empty-ish tray pile anyway. So with that, here's the new team of the week. We are going to um, move over to online, go to online draft. Um, only two wins today. Takes us to 36 entries, 22 um, wins. And we're going to claim our rewards. We'll be back tomorrow for the final one of the week, guys. Hopefully that one can um, give us a boost. We'll get a jump-up in gold pack and a premium gold pack. Not bad packs, to be fair. Could get lucky in them. Probably won't. Even get an 80, even get an inform, I'd be happy. Or at least a board. Centre back. Mercado. A lot of people might be using him for the current Champions League SBC, which is out. Don't know. Um, but we will. Oh, we'll get a player pick pack as well. Inform, inform, inform. Who do I take? Probably Duffy. Or Sahin. Yeah, I'll probably go with Sahin uh, for that one. Don't own him. Uh, so we'll send him to the club. We'll list that guy up for 200. Um, we'll list him up for 200 as well. And then we've got them. They don't sell. So we'll quick sell them. They sell for 250 or 200. On open bid, that might sell for 200. Sentinel, 400. Um, we'll list that one for 350. That one give me a little bit of coin back. And then him will sell for 250, 300. So that's basically the pack done, guys. And we'll send them to the trade pal. Jovic got a good chance of being there. Um, Bundesliga player of the month as well coming up. And the jumbo pin goal pack. Seven rares in this one. Not a bad pack, actually, if we're going out in the second, uh, well, semi final. And we hit a non board striker. It is ben Vendetta uh, of the Argentinian League, innit? Probably already got him, have I? Let's see. No, I haven't. Congolo, Forster. We'll list her up for 200. Um, discard, 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 discard. List them for 250. And then we've got some contracts in there as well. Squad fitnesses. They're over a K now, I think. Yeah, like 1.1, which is which is crazy. They, they have flown up in price. Uh, so we'll list that one for a K and 1.1. Hopefully get rid of them. So that's 2.2K before tax that's that gone and uh did he sell upper body healing doesn't look like it we'll list it for 200 uh list that for 200 and then we'll discard discard oh actually no oh what we're doing i started going all over the shop then drop that one down uh where's it gone maestro how much does maestro sell for shooting passing and dribbling well that we'll let that one go on up and bid um 
discard, 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 sell later, and the architect chem style, how much are you? We'll list that one for 200 as well. So that's basically all we got from today's packs, guys. Not the best, not the worst, and we get 306 coins back from the discarded stuff. Um, up to 391k. Need to keep trucking for forward. You can see squad fitness is maybe go for a little bit more as well. But until tomorrow's episode, guys, leave a like, comment, so right now, till next time, bye bye.